In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the model attribute placed on a method. So now first let's create a uh, demo for that, okay? Suppose we have another model called the category. Let's create a category. Category, oh my God. I have to refactor, rename, category. category and uh, the category we have uh, two fields one is int id the other one is a string name okay and then i'm gonna have uh, generate for the getter status and i'm gonna have uh, uh, generate uh, the struct constructor okay using the two uh, be safe, I'm gonna have a default constructor. Select now. Okay. So now let's go back to our product controller. In my product controller, I have a private method, okay, which is return. Uh, if it doesn't matter, you want to have private, you can also use in public, okay? List category and get party category list. Okay, and we do the import. And then here I'm gonna do is um, list of category, category, okay? And uh, categories equals array dot uh, arrays dot as list. And uh, here I will have a new category instance the first is one and it's called the computer and the second one new category second and we call a laptop okay okay and here I will return categories okay so I just have a method return a hard-coded category list but I'm gonna do next step here is add a mode attribute called category list. So after I do this thing, this annotation applied on this method, what's gonna happen? It's gonna do is like this. So here you have a one request mapping method. Suppose you have another one, get mapping, okay, called uh, uh, slash a I don't want to give a name public string get a okay and the return to uh, let's direct uh, I continue using product form I don't want to create multiple pages okay and uh, let me add another one suppose you have another one called B okay B and here let me have a model okay model model okay so what does this line doing this line equals first before actually you have a request go to okay you have a request that comes to this method before execute any method any statement in this method body it will do model dot add attribute the key gonna be this key the key gonna be this key the value gonna be this value got it uh, let me refactor this one a little bit let me directly return this one how about that it equals in this method get mapping method before execute any statement in this method it gonna do this line model that attribute the key is this key the value gonna be whatever you return so in this case gonna be here like this 
and it will do for all the methods you annotated with request mapping, get mapping, post mapping, delete mapping, and uh, uh, put mapping. So it means for every request mapping method, you will have this line. And that's the that's what mod attribute annotation do when you applied on a method. So now let me show you. Okay, first I'm gonna comment this one, comment this one, comment this one. So all the URL when I make a request, it's gonna go to product form. I'm gonna do is I just add a system out dot print line. Okay. And here I will using model dot as map dot gate key is this category list. And uh, here I will have something called the inside the which method. Okay. Inside gate product form method. And I'm gonna copy this statement in all the methods we have inside the get a method, okay? And then I'm gonna copy this part to get b method, okay? Inside get b, okay? So I'm gonna restart my server and I will make a request to get a product form, get a and get a get a B, okay, this URL and see what's gonna happen in our console. Okay, my server is up. Now let me clear here, clear here. Uh, I'm gonna switch to um, browser and make a request to get a, pro a product form. Okay, let me switch and show you. Chrome. Now I'm gonna make a call to get product form. Enter. Okay, and now I'm gonna go back to our IDE to show you the output. So, output. You will see inside get a product form, you have uh, two categories. I forgot to do one thing, which is add a two string method. So let me add a two string method. Okay, let me add a two string method to see actually you can see the values. Okay, and unfortunately, I have to restart my server. Okay. Uh, it's up. I'm gonna switch to Chrome and uh, make a call and see what's gonna happen. Okay, first let me clear the output and I'm gonna switch to Chrome and I'm gonna make a call to get product form. Okay, it make a call successfully. Now I'm gonna switch back to IntelliJ. Okay, very good. Did you see here? When I make a call to get a product form and it print out inside get a product form and here this one is used to retrieve the values from request scope. And here it, you can see when I get category list, it print out 
printout category. But if you only take a look at this method, you didn't have uh, any place to set a collection of categories. Why you can get a category list by this statement? Because we have a method annotated with the mod attribute category list. This one do is yes, this line, this method, okay, this entire method doing is equals to this piece. He will put a category and the returned value gonna be the value, okay? So that's the reason when you retrieve it, you can get it. And let me make another call to get A, okay? Get A, this get A, get A okay? And I'm gonna switch back to the Chrome. And now I'm gonna make a call to A slash A, okay? And now I'm switch back to IntelliJ. So in the IntelliJ, you can see inside the get A, you also can get the values. Okay. And now I'm not I'm gonna make a call to get a B, okay? And inside the B, you also can get the values of a category list. So now probably you already you already get what is this mod attribute do. Okay, this mod attribute annotated on a method will make sure this collection of category will add in the model, which is the request scope, before execute any method when you annotate it with get a mapping, post a mapping, request a mapping for current controller. If you still doubt, uh, let's see in the class. Okay, uh, thank you for watching this video. See you next time.